everyone. Yeah, just out of uh, curiosity, I look at uh, one of the time-space diagrams um, that prepared, usually uh, done manually, by uh, uh, Caltrans District 12. So this is one of them that I got from Calvin. Um, the timing is on Imperial, Imperial Highway in Orange County. So this is the, what they manually prepared. You can see the, uh, the first four signals. And Harper Boulevard, uh, Marvin, Bonita, Palm. These are the offsets, 35, 95, 10, and 90. Yeah, to produce such a time-space diagram manually, it's probably going to take uh, sometime around um, a couple of weeks uh, because uh, you have to figure out what is the correct facing sequence and offset in order to create uh, this timing that will give you the maximum bandwidth. So I'm going to show you how uh, we can do this quickly in TransSync. So I just look at their, their timing, look at the offset facing sequence, and manually uh, duplicated the timing you know, in TransSync. So these are the signals on Imperial Highway. Timing and offset, you know, as you know, if you click here, it's all showing. Uh, the cycle is 100, uh, reference offset 26, begin of yellow, and also the offset of 90 of the first signal. Okay, so here is the actual time space diagram. Okay, I can zoom in a little bit so that you can compare the first signal, uh, Harbor, Mervyn, Bonita Place, and uh, also Paul. Uh, offset 35, 95, 10, 90, and the sequence 2. Okay, I just want to show you again the original time space diagram. The only difference is their time goes this way, okay, from right to left, versus in transing, the time goes from left to right. All right. So if we do a quick optimization, you can see the result coming out from the optimization um, matches very closely to what they had originally created manually. Okay. Let's do another exercise. I'm going to return to the original, so it goes back to the original offset and the facing sequence. I'm going to lock the first one. Okay, so don't touch anything of the first one. Therefore, we want to optimize everything based on the first signal. And here I can, you know, screw up, let's say, on the sequence, everything, the offset, we can screw up everything, and I do a quick optimization to see what we can get. Right, so let's do an optimization, bandwidth optimization. Okay, so here is the result. You can see, you know, we kept the offset of the first signal unchanged, 35. The second one becomes 93 and 7. And if you go to the original, 35, 95, 10, 90. Okay, so versus this one's 83. So it's matched pretty closely. You know, just like I said, it's just out of curiosity. And I did this kind of exercise to, um, to show you how quickly we can optimize the timing in transync.